I know you will love your baked potato wedges to be crispy like this. I have important tips for you. Keep watching. Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. It's your girl Claudie and welcome back to my kitchen cooking with Claudie. Today I will be showing you important tips on how to make the best ever super crispy garlic herb potatoes. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell and like this video. Don't forget to drop a comment as well. So to start writing or to start with our ingredients, right here I'll be using about five to six potatoes i have some garlic powder i will be using some chili paste for the chili paste is optional you can use chili flakes for my herbs i have some thyme rosemary and parsley some black pepper paprika in this recipe i will be using some salt also melted butter and corn starch so guys to start off you want to go ahead and slice the potatoes into wedges Cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. Ah, cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. The first step you want to wash the potatoes to get rid of some of the starch. Ah, African, Asian, American, and worldwide recipe. The next step, you're going to add in some cold water or ice water inside. This is going to make your potatoes really, really crispy. This is one of my important tips, which I use to make my baked potato wedges and it turned out so good. I'm just going to let that rest for about 30 minutes while I'm prepping the other ingredients. Also, this recipe can also be a plan ahead. You can put your potatoes inside water, let me say salt water, in the refrigerator overnight okay so after chopping our herbs i'm gonna set that aside and we're gonna go to the next step so now our potato is right here you see the water is now clear I'll go ahead and drain the water off the next thing you want to do use a clean towel or you can use a paper towel as well you want to pat dry that until you like there's no more water left inside okay and after pat drying that we are going to start seasoning or putting our seasonings now i'll be putting in some melted butter if you don't like butter you can skip and use any cooking oil of your choice so at this point our potato is going to be cold when you bring in the butter with the rest of the ingredients the butter is going to clot on the potatoes but do not bother this is just because your potato is cold and the butter is like let me say melted so the cold temperature is going to make it clot but do not bother it's still going to turn out perfectly well now bring in all the ingredients and mix onto combine like i said we are going to be adding some corn starch the corn starch is also my secret for an extra crispy potato wedges so guys i put in some chili paste if it's not like it's spicy you can skip it or you put some chili flakes okay now our herbs you want to save some of the herbs to garnish at the end okay After mixing all the ingredients, my cornstarch comes in, also mixed onto well combined. Cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. Cooking with in a lined baking sheet. This was lined with some parchment paper. 
in i will put my potatoes in there and spread all over the pan okay now this is going to go to a preheated oven at 400 degree fahrenheit for 40 minutes and you're going to flip the side halfway through so after 20 minutes this is how it's looking i will flip the side and it's going to go back to the oven for another 20 minutes so guys i know like other recipes they will tell you not to flip yes i just prefer flipping mine so i get a crunchy like texture on both sides but if you do not want to flip that's fine so now this is how it's looking after the other 20 minutes so perfect go ahead and garnish that with the remaining diced or herbs and it's looking so beautiful super crispy go ahead and serve right away with whatever you like i served these with some fire cracker salmon and it turned out really well so guys i hope you get to try this recipe if you do please let me know how it turned out if you have any questions drop it in the comment section and i'm going to reply asap do not forget to subscribe like and share until we meet again bye for now